Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a stock that is basically presenting some really interesting news at the moment in the market, and it's a pretty big company. That stock is Google, or in this case, the parent company Alphabet. And we can see that over the last year, Alphabet is underperforming the market. They're down 23%, while the rest of the market is down 10%. But over the five year chart, they're up almost 90% while the rest of the market is only up around 45%. So they're basically doubling the market's return over the five year chart. And so in this video, I'm just going to figure out what news recently came out surrounding Alphabet. I'm going to look into their financial statements and then figure out if they are trading at a good price at the moment from a value investing perspective. And so right here, we can see this article talks a little bit about where Alphabet will be in three years. Some key points they point off, point out right, right out of the gate are that Alphabet's advertising revenue historically has risen after a recession. Also, they've had some YouTube TV growth that will definitely contribute to their increased advertising revenues. And lastly, the Google Cloud has a lot of potential to increase Alphabet's profitability levels in the future. And so if I scroll down here, they point out that Alphabet's advertising revenue streams have caused a growth slowdown. And in particular, we can see advertising makes up 78% of Google's fourth quarter revenue. And also, we can see right here that thanks to the challenging economic environment, the advertising segment ended up falling 3.6% year over year because of the fact that companies were tightening their advertising budgets. And so this is actually usually how it goes for Apple, historically speaking, whenever a recession approaches, the revenue growth for Alphabet tends to come to a halt. But also something else to point out is that, as we can see from this chart, shortly after a recession probability spikes, Alphabet's revenue growth also spikes. And that's mainly because as the United States emerges from a recession, companies start to loosen up their advertising budget and they end up spending more money on advertising, which ends up increasing Google's revenues. And so they point out that around 2024, some Wall Street analysts are projecting that the revenue growth is going to grow at around 11%, but 2023 might still be a tough year as they anticipate that revenue might only grow at around 4%. The Google Other segment includes their Google Play App Store, YouTube, and YouTube TV subscriptions, as well as hardware like their Google Pixel smartphones. And that segment rose 8% in the fourth quarter. And then lastly, this sleeping giant, their Google Cloud, rose 32% in revenue, which was way faster than their major cloud computing competitors, Microsoft Azure and AWS Amazon Web Services. And in particular, although Google Cloud is not profitable yet, we can see that they are getting closer to profitability. This is their operating margin for the Google Cloud. In the first quarter, it was negative 16%. Second quarter, it was negative 13%. Third quarter, negative 10%. Fourth quarter, negative 6%. So they are getting closer to profitability for their Google Cloud segment. And if that were the case, and that would obviously definitely contribute to increasing their earnings and increasing their stock price in the long term. And so now we can see their balance sheet comparing December 31st, 2021 to 2022. Year over year, total assets are up from $359 billion to $365 billion. Most of their business is financed by equity compared to liabilities. They have $109 billion in liabilities and $256 billion in equity with $195 million billion dollars of that coming from retained earnings. Then right here we can see their income statement comparing 2020 to 2022. We can see that revenue has steadily increased year over year here from 182 billion in 2020 to 257 billion in 2021 to 282 billion in 2022. So that's an increase in revenue year over year from 2021 to 2022 by about 10%, so not bad. And we can also see in terms of net income, net income actually decreased year over year from $76 billion to $59 billion, unfortunately. And then lastly right here, we can see their cash flow statement comparing 2020, 2021, and 2022. Operating cash flow for 2022 was $91.4 billion. 
and we can see from their financing activities that they've repurchased around 59 billion dollars of common stock in 2022 that's up from 50 billion in 2021 and up from 31 billion in 2020 so they are prioritizing returning value back to shareholders by repurchasing stock they obviously don't pay a dividend and they've been repurchasing more and more common stock year over year so right here we can see this is a discounted cash flow model to figure out the intrinsic value per share for google yahoo finance is estimating that the company's going to grow at around 15 percent for the next five years so I was conservative and I cut that in half to 7% for the next five years after that. They had around $60 billion of free cash flow in their most recent full year with around $83 billion of net cash minus net debt and then around 6 billion shares outstanding. That puts their intrinsic value per share at around $212 per share with a 50% margin of safety of $106 per share. So that means that at the moment, they are currently trading at a 50% margin of safety relative to their estimated intrinsic value of $212 per share. So if they are able to grow at around 7 to 15% compounded annually for the next decade, then that means that right now they are trading at a pretty good buying price relative to their intrinsic value per share. And then right here on the right hand side, I compared them to their two of their main competitors, Meta and Apple. We can see that across the board, it looks like Google has decent profit margins. They have the middling of the pack of gross profit, middle net profit, middle return on assets, and they also have the lowest PE ratio at 20 times earnings, and they don't pay a dividend. Apple is the only company that pays a dividend. So from a financial ratio perspective, it looks like Google is pretty competitive, and it looks like they might be trading at the best price relative to their earnings. And then to end off the video, I wanted to compare them to some of the companies we've looked at in prior videos. We can see that we finally have another company that is trading below intrinsic value per share. For the longest time, it was just General Electric and Albertsons, but at last, Google has joined the top three list here. They are trading below intrinsic value per share, it's currently trading at 49% of their estimated intrinsic value since they're trading at $105 per share and their intrinsic value per share is 212. We can see in terms of growth rate, projected growth rate was 15.51% for the next five years. GE still comes in first place at 44%. In terms of profitability, Google comes in right around the middle with a 55% gross profit margin and a 21% net profit margin. Adobe still holds the number one spot for gross profitability. No one has been able to knock Adobe off that list. And then Microsoft holds the number one spot for net profitability at 36%. And then lastly, in terms of stock performance over the last five years, Google also comes in around the middle with an 87% return over their five-year chart, as we can see right here. So based on these numbers here, comparing them to the other companies we've looked at, it looks like Google is pretty competitive. They come in right around the middle for stock performance and profitability ratios here, as well as with growth rate. But one of the most important metrics here, share price to intrinsic value, it looks like Google is doing way better than a lot of the companies we've looked at here, including the big tech companies, especially Apple and Microsoft, which are not trading anywhere near close to their intrinsic value per share the way Google is. So interesting to see. We can also see that from a com competitor analysis perspective in terms of financial ratios, Google has pretty good profit margins relative to Meta and Apple, and they are trading below intrinsic value per share at the moment. So based on that estimate, it would seem like a Google would be a good buy at the current share price, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Alphabet. Is it a good buy right now at the current share price? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everyone in the next one.